Good afternoon, everybody. I am on the Big E campus right now for a special dinosaur exhibit. Uh, John talked us into doing this today. And it's very similar to the one that was at Six Flags New England last year. So it's actually really cool because we had to drive through the Big E fairgrounds. And I've never been here when it hasn't been happening. So this is totally new to me. But we're going to go look at some dinosaurs. There's John. There's Adam. Stan's over here somewhere. He's over there. And it's really cool. I mean, it's very family oriented. So if you want to come here with your family during the winter, I definitely recommend that. It's a dinosaur butt. Yeah. This dinosaur kind of died. This is how it actually went down. There were no Maybe meteors that's involved. A, that's a dragon. Oh, that, is that a dragon? That uh, is not a dragon. There's no way. This is a dinosaur. That's a dragon. That is not a dragon. That behind it is a dragon. No, that is so a dragon or a dinosaur? This is a dinosaur. I think it's a dragon. Dragons have wings. <laughs> not all dragons. Not all dragons. What? This is, this is a great photo opportunity, actually. <laughs> this is the gay dinosaur. So not only does this exhibit have dinosaurs at it, but it also has dragons. Many dragons. You know what Adam just says? I look at all the dragons and I go, oh, dragons. And he looks right over here and he goes, oh, a volcano. There's like a row full of dragons and he's like, oh, here's the thing that exists in the real world. Are you making a friend? things about dragons especially looking at all of them here is that every culture kind of portrays a dragon differently since they exist across the world <laughs> in all cultures which has always been fascinating but seeing them all lined up like that was really cool i like how this one's going out for sunday brunch with this little shawl on though the shawl also has dinosaurs on it i will point out that i just noticed right now i think that's actually just like some sheets that have been <laughs> tied up onto it like somebody found that at Sabres. It's like, we'll put this in the exhibit. I feel like we got a limbo under that. Well, that's like soft, like inflatable anyway. All right, we're, we're gonna have to go underneath the tail though. <laughs> I don't know why I did it like that. That was really stupid. <laughs> like I could have just crawled. I instead did whatever that was. Yeah, this dinosaur is having some sort of problem right now. I don't think it's supposed to be pants like that. There's my favorite dinosaur, the pterodactyl because they can fly, and I'm jealous of anything they can fly. There is some sort of screaming noise, and I think it's the pterodactyl. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce this dinosaur's name, but it's nicknamed the Terrible Claw. Hey, wait, these guys got feathers. So, some of these are updated. I like the baby dinosaurs in here. There's also something screaming behind me. I can see Adam's face getting more annoyed by the second. That noise, and then you're, you make a face every single time. <laughs> okay, this is like Yoshi riding another Yoshi, and it's kind of funny. This dinosaur kind of captures the noises here, and which is called the Irritator. Okay, that is seriously one of the coolest costumes I've ever seen. It blinks and it. Yeah, look at it go! <laughs> we have been freed from the dinosaur exhibit, and it is a very family friendly exhibit. Not really all for adults to go and check out, but if you have a family or kids, I highly recommend it because they'll have a good time. There's rides for them to go on, and like they'll be highly entertained for hours. Where we walked up and down the strip, and we we're done in like 20 minutes. Stan just brought this up, but I said when I was talking about Yoshi, he thought I said sushi, and it's just been like downhill thinking about sushi. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier where it's just the big E fairgrounds, but unlike when it's the Big E and we're walking around, we're just driving around like it's a normal parking lot, but it's like kind of strange. So that's where the butter statue always is, it's out there. But over there, you can see the slide out in the distance. Like we're just driving through the parade route right now, which you can see with the lines. So I think it's kind of cool. It's Hello everybody. I am back home in my wonderful abode. Uh, I'm sorry that I've only got these short videos for you. I'm kind of getting back into the swing of vlogging. Uh, also, there wasn't a whole lot to show. This this show that we were at was very short. Like, you could walk through it in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. But it's great for families if you want to bring your kids. So, I highly recommend it for that reason. But maybe not so much for people our age because we got bored pretty quick. But it was pretty cool to see the animatronics. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you go down to the description, you can find links to all my social media and my Patreon, in which you can support me, which will help me make more videos like this one. Alright everybody, I promise there's some theme park and travel adventures coming real soon, so hang tight. Every day is an adventure, and live your best life. <laughs>